Starting off with number 15, during a tense game, Stuart Bingham got distracted not just once but multiple times by a photographer who couldn't stay still. In the end, the photographer was politely escorted out, making way for a quieter match. Double if it's just before, you can back away from it, but if it's on the stroke. Is that a guilty expression? Hmm. I can't sure hear what you. that's all about. Oh, well. That way. I think, I think they're asking the photographer ah, okay. to move into it. That was slightly wide as well. And a pretty critical moment of the match as well. Coming in at number 14, Mark Williams turned a regular match into a snack session by playfully snatching candy from a spectator. He nearly polished off the entire packet, sharing smiles all around. Lucky number 13 brings us a hilarious break in concentration when an unexpected fart broke the silence at a Judd Trump game. Both Ronnie and Judd burst into uncontrollable laughter, proving that snooker isn't just about serious faces. A little bit of noise in the crowd there. <laughs> I don't know what that sounded like. It sounded a bit strange. Uh, it's uh, <laughs> eight points behind, and in some ways, you deserve to win a frame after a pot like that. Well, I'm not sure what's happened this time, but. Uh, very rarely do you get that in the uh, auditorium. Maybe there's someone, maybe. Not just feeling too well at the moment, but Michaela's giving them the old evil eye there. Number 12 sees Stuart Bingham's shot ruined by a perfectly ill-timed cell phone ring. After missing, he couldn't help but sarcastically thank the caller with a thumbs up. Fast snooker by any stretch. If we get another Can you please make off. sure your phones are on silent? Thank you. Stuart Bingham, 22. And now Stuart's shown his frustration. At number 11, John Higgins found himself the target of some loud heckling during a nail-biting match against Mark Williams, adding an extra layer of challenge to his game. 29. That person, please be removed. Then out, please. That well, is a somewhat unsavoury cir circumstance here, whereby somebody is shouting out, things at John Higgins, which really no one wants to hear. And Aaron Williams, without any hesitation, has asked for the person concerned to be removed from the auditorium. Well, that is outrageous. Number 10 showcases a scene in the English Open final where a noisy fan disturbed Selby's focus. The referee, Tatiana Wollaston, stepped in like a hero and had the fan removed for some peace. Can you please get me out? Yeah, unfortunately, unfortunately that gentleman's going to have to leave, isn't he? And the security moving in. Number nine has Kyron Wilson dealing with not one, not two, but three phone interruptions from the same spectator. Annoyed, Kyron chanted back, turning frustration into a bit of a performance art. Switch that phone off, please. Well, not a phone, surely. Hmm. Impossible. Rob. Rob, yeah, it is a it is. telephone, so. Yeah. Yeah, that's ridiculous. It really is. The croak is worn before the match starts. 
Hurry up, please. We want to carry on. Don't, don't kick them out. Just turn it on silent. Well, that's nice. I mean, Karen is here. Don't put them out. Just put it on silent. Before we move on, please be sure to subscribe to our channel. The eighth spot goes to a match against Mark Allen and Joe Perry, where a rogue mobile phone interrupts the silence. The referee added a touch of humor by playfully calling out the scrambling owner. Different ringtone, so we know it's two culprits, not one. Don't panic, take your time, otherwise it'll take you longer. Are you going to answer it? I feel for you. Just answer it. Just answer it. Tell them you're on your way. <laughs> Number seven. In an unexpected twist during a match, Ronnie O'Sullivan was joined by a streaker. With his characteristic flair, Ronnie handed her the cue to take a playful shot at the last black, turning a potential disruption into a memorable and entertaining moment. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stay there. Stay there. No, someone running into the arena. <laughs> He's going to carry on. I'm not quite sure what she's doing. I'm not quite sure how she got in. That's the security, frankly. Well, he's going to let her pop the black or have a go at it. This couldn't happen to anyone else, could it? A bit of practice needed, I think. So, a rather unusual end to the afternoon, if it will end. And Ronnie O'Sullivan books his place. Number six recalls when a mysterious moving sound invaded Ronnie O'Sullivan's shot against Selby. The referee was quick to warn the mischief maker, adding a quirky twist to the match. Well, it looks as if he's looking at the pot. Might just have to wait for a second or two. Number five sees both Mark Selby and Ronnie O'Sullivan startled by a loud phone call. The crowd's reaction escalated the drama until the noisy caller was shown the exit. Yes, at one stage, it didn't look as if we were going to get to the mid-session interval. All right, settle down now, please. All right. We've got security, please. Crowds have been fantastic all week. There's just Guys one that to uh, do with... He's, I've just got a glimpse of him. He's, he's on the mobile phone as well. Number four highlights a match with Ronnie O'Sullivan and Gary Wilson, where a rowdy, tipsy fan kept stirring trouble. Security promptly restored order, escorting the fan out. Excuse me. Hang on a sec, Ronnie. Come down. Get this guy out. He needs to go. Yeah, he needs to go. <clears throat> Third place goes to Neil Robertson's match, where an odd whining noise stirred confusion. Neil, with a sense of humor, pretended to chase an imaginary mosquito drawing laughs from the crowd. Big mosquito. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've just got a noise somewhere up at the back of the crucible. It's a, a whining noise. Uh, What's causing that? It's certainly nothing to do with us. <laughs> I think it sounded like a bee or something buzzing, and 
Uh, there we go, Neil. Got rid of it. <laughs> Coming in at number two, Brassell and Zhao try to keep their composure after a fan's loud fart during their match. The unexpected sound led to a laughter that echoed around the arena. Thirty. Thank you. Settle down now, please. And finally, number one, we go back to the 1997 Masters final, where Ronnie O'Sullivan and Davis were left in awe as a streaker danced around the snooker table, capping off the event with a wildly memorable moment. And that's it for this video. Which one surprised you the most? For more snooker content, click on the screen right now.